How's it going everybody? I'm IGP, the Indie Game Promoter, and welcome back to Let's Play Call It. In the last episode, we uncovered Act 1, and kind of just did a little bit of start on the narrative. Uh, not much has happened, Sean Bean told us some very interesting things. Okay, apparently I can use my compass, map, and flashlight all at the same time. How amazing is that? Oh my god, is this seriously where- this seriously the whole map? Jesus lord. This is gonna be a long game. How the hell do I get out of here? Escape. Okay. I don't know how to use stuff. Flashlights? Uh, C for compass? Yep. M for map. Oh yeah, I got it. Damn, shaka. How do I... Oh. Oh, okay. Huh. Alright, so where am I? Am I right here? Zoom map, right mouse, lower map, close map, M. Okay. Where am I? Where am I? Does it not say where I am? Okay, I guess uh, I guess I'll figure that out later. I'll keep my compass out. I don't know how to read that compass. Where the hell is north? Is that north? I don't I don't know what that means. Shit. Okay, well let's put that away. <clears throat> put the compass away. Okay, here's a little pole. Press F for survival info. Uh, F. Oh, F1. F1. What the hell is that noise? Whoa, buddy! Okay. Uh-huh. Yep, whoever you are. I don't like it. Dude, stop it. What is that noise? Okay, I'm just gonna assume it's nothing big. F1 for survival info. <clears throat> Running left shit to the diary. Articles, reports, survival... We're setting off for a long journey, rest in the camp, and set a goal for a safe route. You can focus on the objects, take a better look at it, lighting your way at a flashlight, become invisible... Oh god. Observe the environment carefully before better navigation. Barely accessible rocky notches may lead to interesting places and shortcuts. Okay... Great. I, it doesn't tell me how to read the map better, so I guess that's just not gonna happen now. Fantastic. What is this, huh? Okay, I don't know what that noise is, but I'm not a huge fan of that. Okay, so these guys ran out barefoot. Uh, I guess I'll follow the, where the footsteps went, which is down here somewhere? Uh, how do I know where I am, though? What is that, goggles? I don't know where I am. Sorry, guys, I've been lingering for like two minutes. Three minutes. Something like that. Oh, man. This guy has no stamina in the cold. Not at all. Okay, can you not run anymore? Thank you. Whoa. What the hell is that? Is that a volcano? <clears throat> Guys, how do I know where I'm going? Oh, okay, so I'm right here. That's where I was. And this is where I am? <laughs> I don't know. Let's go back to the campsite. <clears throat> I have no hands. I'm holding this compass up with my telekinetic powers, apparently. Ooh, look at that moon. Okay, yep. Let's get back down here to the... Where we're supposed to be. Okay. <clears throat> so now I guess I can use the coordinates of the map. There's mountains behind the campsite. That must mean that this. So the green. Okay. I don't know if that's accurate though. There we go. Okay. So I'm gonna face straight down from the campsite and look at my map and compass. And that means okay. So north is pretty much straight. Okay, that's fine. <clears throat> that's north. I'll consider that. Or no, that's south. South is red, or fuck! South is black, north is red. Shut the fuck up and play, dude. I like the visual effects of the snow because I don't think it's actually a particle effect. I think it's literally just a video overlay. So there actually isn't any snow following down. It's just a video overlay, or is it? No, maybe not. Maybe not? I don't know. But it doesn't look like it's snowing anywhere else but right in front of me. Which I find pretty cool, I guess. Okay. I have chosen you. 
Whoa, hi. <clears throat> Just like me. But you are losing your mind, my friend. You're slipping slowly into the abyss, and there is no one to give you a hand. And at the bottom, I am the only one waiting for you. Oh, scene bean. That was a great delivery, sir. Oh, here we go. Now, do I mark this on my map? God damn it, I have no idea where I'm at. Okay, so I went down here. I'm somewhere around here. Okay, fine. Fine. Oh. Okay, so here we go. Cave is where I need to be. Cave number one. This is beautiful. Sounds great. Sh shut up. Stalactites growing. Oh, okay, so it was a shortcut. I don't know to where. Uh, cave could possibly have been right here? Was that it? I think that might have been it. No, because I went through a long valley. And you know what? I'll figure that out later. Right now, I should just explore. Don't want to get lost, though. <laughs> That's just my way of doing things. Fuck the right way. I want to go up to that volcano, dude. Don't like that. What on earth could it have been that chased these guys away? Something molten, probably from the volcano. It's like a lava monster. Lava monster. Lava monster. Oh, indeed, it's a lava monster. Oh! Chill out, spazzy. What, are you trying to die? Are you trying to die, sir? So I don't want to play as a suicidal man. What is that sound? I, saw, I hear paper. Someone rummaging through paper. Yeah, maybe? Oh, it's a... It's a bridge. I don't know if that's what's making that sound, though. What if there's someone up there? I don't know how to get up there, though. Where's the staircase? No, I still hear it. Oh, maybe they're like flags or something? Just using the wrong sound effect, maybe? No. Whoa, hi! Oh, this is where I'm at! 27 North, 52 East, okay. 27 North... What? Oh, no, wait. I think it's just telling me... Oh, there's a secret up there. Okay, what the hell is that noise? God, I wish I could jump. Alright, I'm just gonna try to get up there, I guess. What could that noise be? How do I get up there? Ah! Ah! There's a long ass path. Wait, whoa! Okay, never mind. <laughs> Let's just go up this way, huh? Hard to see. That's yeah, that's much better. Okay, so I haven't encountered any kind of threat yet. Here we go. What? Ha <laughs> ha You are funny if you think I'm crossing that. Ah fuck it. Oh, it's a piece of paper. It is. We are sitting in room number twenty-three. Although sitting might not be the right word because we are running around trying to finish up packing anything else we could need. Food cans, tools, essentially whatever we get our hands on. We want to be sure that we took everything we could possibly need. We're running out of time. Damn it, where did I put my belt? I'm sure we forgot about something. We're almost ready. We lost the knife. We're counting the money. We're leaving the room in a complete mess. So, we made it to the train station. We're singing all the songs we know and making up new ones as well. Everyone is so excited. Finally, at around 3 a.m., we go to bed. I wonder, what is awaiting us when we get there? What will we see? How far will we make it? I hear the rest of the group breathing peacefully, and it's snowing outside. Huh. That's neat. So I'm gonna be picking up logs from their journals. That's gonna be nice. Oh, I love games like that. Give me one second, I guess. Alright, so now we're gonna go ahead and try to, uh, oh man, 
Hello. Please don't let me fall. Just trying to make it across. Thank you. Oh, God. That was actually pretty nerve-wracking. Alright, so I really apologize for the non-smoothness of this game on my end. That's my fault, not the game's. The game's optimized. My piece is just not the best. I hear another piece of paper somewhere. I like that! The paper rustling in the wind. That's such an awesome little effect to let me know, like, to locate stuff. Post-processing effects and audio is probably the best way to, uh... Oh, well! How the hell am I supposed to get up there, dude? Okay, well, there's nothing up there. Alright, let's just go back down, I guess. Can I go down here? Here we go. This'll work, I think. Oh, don't fall. Please don't fall. Please don't- Uh! Oh, I think I'm stuck. Nope. Okay. Let's get one drill entry. I would love to get that one, but I don't think I can. I might be able to. Let's go up here. No threats yet. Again. I'm jinxing myself here, probably. Okay, so how can I get up there to that paper? I want that log. Thank you. Thank you for the pathway. Thank you for the pathway. The pathway. Speaking of Sean Bean, have you guys heard the news? Christopher Lee died. The guy who played, uh, Sauron. Or, uh, Saruman in, um, uh, Lord of the Rings. Sean Bean was in Lord of the Rings. as Boromir, if you guys don't remember. I can't get up there. Shit. Yeah, that's sad, sad news. He actually did some metal music. It's not my favorite type of metal, but it was pretty interesting nonetheless, and it's Saruman. Anyway, very sad news. Very, very sad news. Great actor. I mean, he, I don't know exactly what he died from. He's a very old man, uh, so it was just his time to go, you know? At least it wasn't anything, you know, premature. Okay, I have found nothing. This episode has been pointless. I, uh... I need my compass. So, red's north. I'm just gonna keep this out for now. Actually, it's in the way. Fuck that. And I don't need my flashlight to make myself vulnerable. I'm just kind of exploring right now. I guess in the next few episodes, I'll figure out where I need to go. I just like the environment and the ambience right now. It's very creepy. What the hell is that? That's a tower. Radio tower, maybe. Look at that beauty. Look at that beauty. Whoa, dude. Hi, aliens. Are there aliens here? Holy shit. <clears throat> I set out the moment I heard about the incident. I was in the area, so I reported to the unit myself to be automatically assigned to the case. I arrived at Vishai on February the 19th, a couple of days before the Institute's rescue group. While waiting for them, I started asking around to see if anyone from among the locals knew anything about the incident. One of them said he had a hunting cabin in the search region and knew the area very well. I decided to use him as a guide. When the rescue team had finally arrived, I explained to them what the unit's role was in this mission and that all discoveries or observations should be brought to my attention before anyone else's. We established priorities, checked the equipment, and set off right away. It was not until February the 26th we found the tent that I believe belonged to the students. Initial findings show that the people in the tent cut its side wall, and for some reason tried to escape from it in panic. The tracks in the snow led to a forest a kilometre and a half away. But the trail went cold after 500 metres, and we had to carefully search the entire area. This was not a place of any average incident. We had shivers crawling all over our bodies because of the atmosphere surrounding us. I was convinced that something more than just an accident had occurred here. I had the feeling we were dealing with something unnatural. Okay, so it's also collecting logs, apparently, from, uh... Oh, we're a post event! What the hell is this, go? Oh my god! Post events! Jesus Christ, dude! No, I was not expecting that. Okay. What's happening? Speaking of unnatural, what the hell? Oh! Oh! Everyone's running. What is happening, guys? Should I follow you? Was this the exact 
place of the incident? I should follow that one. I should follow that one. But I'm all out of time, guys. I gotta cut it. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you're enjoying the series, please let me know in the comments below. If I missed anything, please also let me know so I can check it out in the next video. So thanks again for watching, guys. I love you all, and I will see you in the next one. Bye-bye.